Today I will be showing you how to set and make a squirrel snare. So first what you're going to need is a decently long, decently thick uh, branch or log or piece of wood. So this one might be a little bit short but and it will get a little thin at the top but the squirrels here aren't very big so it'll, it'll work fine. Next what you're going to want to do is make sure there's no like little sticks and stuff coming off. Like you want to smooth it down a little bit. This one I found like cut somewhere, as I forget. But uh, so like any of the branches are kind of are cut off, even if it's not perfect. But this one doesn't really have any little sticks coming off of it. The main thing you're actually gonna need is snare wire. So when I was in Cape Red and I set, and the video I had trout fishing and checking the traps got deleted. I guess I accidentally deleted it or something, so it, it never got posted whenever I tried to. So I already have some. Cut and uh, made, uh, which I used snares from, so they're already cut a good length and stuff. So what you want to do with your wire once you got a decent length, about like maybe this long is pretty good, I guess. Depending on how thick your log is, which has to be decently, not too thick though. You're gonna want to make a loop at one end, just like with the sp uh, primitive spring uh, spring snare, and then you're gonna put the other end of the wire through the loop which makes a noose. Then what you're going to want to do is to actually set it. You're going to take your wire and put it around your log. You need to make sure you know what side you want facing up of the log and then once you have it wrapped around, you want it to be pretty decently tight, I'd say. So you don't want it yet. You don't want it sliding. So it should be tight. And then to tie it on, you might you you can really once you get it tight enough, you just you can just twist the wire around a bunch of times. Okay, and then the way how the trap works is or the snare, sorry, is you have your noose and it you want there to see others like actually here wait I'll do it on put the camera on this side for this part of it so you see how the, the line is coming out or the wire is coming out from the bottom and it goes out it goes around like that and then you kind of get it so your noose is where you want it that way. Also, you want the that with the noose to be or the circumference, I think. I don't remember math. Um, you want it to be about one and a half or one and a quarter uh, the size of of like the animal you're going for. So, like a squirrel. So, like in in different places, some squirrels are bigger. Are, some are smaller. We have the smaller kind of squirrel. So about that size is probably decent. And so what you're gonna want so what this reason it comes out like that is because when the squirrel runs through it, this holds down like that and then they f then it falls off and hang and oh you can't really see it. But it pulls us down, it cinches, and it falls off. And then it it hangs them. So that's how this works. But now let me... And you can even, if it's not tight enough, you can move it up if it's if the wool gets wider. It starts getting like wider in a place, you can move it up so it's wider in that area. And I got four snares set. One, two, three, and there's four. I will go and set her up. Okay, I have it set up here. And I have it leaned up. You usually lean up against a tree, but I have it leaned up against my fence because the squirrels like to run across the fence. Anyways, it's leaned up against the fence. There. 
just to make sure, or just see if I can get a moment, put a little bit of bait there, but who knows? Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. I'll update, uh, make an update video on what I get.